everyone, welcome to Let's Inspire Together, our music video countdown that features positive, local, regional and international music videos. We also do interviews with people who are willing to share a little bit about themselves with us and help to inspire us. Today's episode is going to be a little bit about art and culture and entertainment, but before we do that, I'd like to introduce our international video, which is O oh Maria by Found Nation. Yo, Found Nation, El Padrecito is going down. And the brothers crossing borders in the penitentiaries I Blue in the black with a badge and some slacks It don't matter what you look like God has you back from the genesis Pinpoint the nemesis Pin to the ground by a Jewish girl in Bethlehem It's not irrelevant People the Messiah wrote Reverence the God, man Find your hope in higher roads I'm 9 to 5 and it's defining Ride up for retirement But I admit my iron mind is finally that define What the lies of men have found within peace I call her Mother Mary and she finds me when I'm down and sin yeah, like an anamanapia, a joyful noise written, I'm spitting till the day I see her. No king, queen, or sister can't compare to a creature selected in perfection to birth the savior and teacher. Mama, we need ya. This world's gone mad. They still killing babies, still abusing the badge, still thinking that one life matters more than the last. Hiding behind these ignorant comments and hashtags. We pass that, we look for your visions and apparitions because they show us you've always listened. We know you keep these things close in your heart and I see. Oh, Mama Mia, Maria, you carry God in you. Always devoted, immaculate, this the Leah. Anointed senorita with more soul than Adidas. You mother the soul healer, the son of the soul leader. The one who's sitting high in the stone like nose bleeders. Only one to ride with me like we in a two-seater. We owe you the utmost, most just won't see you. Even though you're so close to the most, we still reach you. Your will is God's will, that's something they don't teach you. Apparitions at different lands with no visa. Always putting in work and I know that we all need you. Even when they throw stones in the old before I see ya. Okay. Dallas think you're trying to catch an interception. With all of these Hail Marys we keep tossing. What the keep fumbling is that he chose you. Particularly to carry out the winning touchdown. Point toss for my soul. Here it goes. It'll always be the head that'll win the Joe. But I feel Satan would attack with a stunning blitz. That's when you're coming for the save. Michael Vick. I pray to serve you as you deserve with all of me. All I am taking me to the Super Bowl promised land. And I vow to you that I'm at your command Even if these haters don't care to understand You're the spouse of the spirit The daughter of the father The mother of the son You do the highest honor Mother of the king That makes you queen of heaven Perpetual virgin Immaculate conception Assumed into heaven at the moment of your death The Bible says that all generations call you blessed And blessed is the fruit of thy womb The one that caused your death for three days in the tomb Pray for us now and at the hour of our death So we can see the pretty gates when we laid the rest Blessed Mother Mary Let me proclaim my love for you Just like your only son Jesus Christ wants me too Maria, Maria Virgo prudentissima Ora pro nobis Mate clementissima En nomeni patri E fili espiritu Santi tota Toca es Maria Long before you blessed Yeah, he was on the guest list Eve couldn't touch this I was going to wreck this He was on a death list You were rest the rest of this Joe Kim and Anne were blessed For the rest of us Abortion on demand we talk about the man, BLM, Planned Parenthood, got a plan Don't worry about the clan, don't worry about the damn Go to your mama, it's all about the fam Now I know we're excited to get um, to the interviews because I have two exciting guests I have Bevan Gibson and uh, Damien Sugram here with me at LIT. However, before we get into that, I'd like to introduce our original video, which is Sugar Roy and the Fireball Crew, Granny Backyard. Man can't 
Welcome back. As promised, we have our first interview, who is a soldier in the music ministry circles. And his name is Bevan Gibson. Welcome and thank you for coming. How thanks are you? Thanks for having me. I'm fine, thanks. Well, I have a lot of questions for you. I hope you're ready for them. I'm ready, ready. <laughs> I want you to tell me a little bit about your ministry. Yeah? Okay, well, um, my ministry is mainly music ministry. Mm -hmm. um, became a part of People of Praise Music Ministry in 1995. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, since then, I uh, have been in the music ministry doing a lot of praise and worship music. Yes, uh, I see you in a lot of those conferences. Yes. And you, you really do enjoy yourself. And, and I, I must say that I admire that. You know, I, I, I was watching a few videos with you <laughs> before the, um, <laughs> before coming here and I just saw mm -hmm. that that joy on your face for being on the stage and you know I'm I'm afraid of the stage you know and so you? when I <laughs> yes I just only look so all right yeah so I'm looking at you and I'm saying you know I could see the passion and I want to know what really when was the first time that you felt that level of passion for music that made you want to go out on that stage and and do your thing okay well the first thing that gave me the passion to go on stage and do things properly is, is um, at school there was a Calypso competition actually, mm -hmm. right? And I went on stage and gave it a try and a bus. <laughs> right? So that okay. gave me the passion to never <laughs> bus didn't, again. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I really didn't expect yeah, that. Yeah. Right? So, so afterwards, um, well, um, QRC, mm -hmm. right? And um, tried again. And when I tried again, I won the Calypso competition in oh, the same wow. year, okay. 1995. Now, if that's not inspiration, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is. <laughs> you definitely yeah. have it there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is a true example right there. Because mm -hmm. so many people might have went through that and they would have never wanted to see a stage again, right? But mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you really take a hold of the stage now when I see you. <laughs> Yes. yes, yes. Every time I see you take it, and I, that comes with experience, yeah? It comes with practice, experience, mm -hmm. um, learning from your mistakes, mm -hmm. and learning from other people's mistakes. I'd rather <laughs> learning from other people's mistakes than from my own. You know, so yeah, learning from other people's mistakes right. and experience. Other also people's too. mistakes as yeah. well. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
So the other thing, I know you write. Yes. You're a writer. Yes. Uh, so, a songwriter. Yes. So you want to give me a little bit, what's your favorite song and tell me something that um, motivated you to write it. Where do you get your lyrics okay. from? Right. These so things? I started even before I got involved with gospel music and people of praise. Uh, um, in my teen years in school, I uh, started write, um, writing hip-hop music. Right. So okay. I had a passion for hip-hop music from, from, from way back then. And then as I got into ministry, started writing um, other types of music as like the positive calypso, gospel calypso, mm -hmm. and moving into, into that arena, mm -hmm. and then moving into praise and worship music, right. and then coming full back circle with <laughs> gospel music, whether it's hip hop, whether it's reggae, whether it's dancehall, whether it's yes. all kind of styles. So in terms of my favorite song, uh, I would say my favorite song right now is a song called um, Build Up The Country, right? right? Which was the same song that, the same song that I um, wrote in 95 and won the school competition with right. and singing mm -hmm. even up to now is a, is a positive calypso. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm. and, and wanna, it's, wanna, it has special memory for me. You want to sample it? You don't have to wear it, I just say, you know, if you want to, you know. Of course I can, <laughs> of course I can, right? Me so that's a little, so a little brass line starts. Ba ba de da da woi, ba ba de da da woi, woi, da ba da ba de da de da da doi. Baba de da da woi, Baba de da da woi, woi, da ba da ba de da de da da doi. And this is how the chorus goes, right? It goes like this. Build up the country. Yeah, the next record. Yeah, do that, right? Time for unity. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is a message for everybody. Mm -hmm. You see. Time to build up the country. Up the country. Man, it's time for unity. Oh. Ooh. All of we should be glad to be training. So that's oh just a little, a little taste. Bevan, if I tell you, I remember that from my childhood, from primary school, my sisters mm. and they, mm. you may know them. Uh -huh. My sisters right, and they the probably went to some camp or some church exactly, camp or something. Exactly. And they came back singing that song. Exactly. So that's how I know that song. They love that song. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep, yep. Yep. It hasn't been, actually still it. hasn't been recorded you as to, yet, so that's that. one of the ones there. <laughs> well, the future that. projects. Yeah. You need to fix I that. Need to fix that. And that's an excellent song. Any that. finances out there? <laughs> please, yeah, okay. please do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, and that's one of the things that I have to talk to you about. Eh? Right. Um, it is a journey. Yes. <laughs> and, and let's be straight, it's a hard journey in the circles mm -hmm. that we are in. To mm. get support for for mm. music for artists, yeah. um, how how do you think? Um, what do you think is the way forward for artists who are in our particular circle? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we don't have a, a way. We're not seeing a way forward. Um, mm -hmm. Or even if it is that we we try, because I mean, you have been you have been at it for for uh, quite uh, for some while, time. Yeah for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I've spoken to you before and we yeah. talk about the support yeah. aspect and, yeah. and so on. Yeah. And I am very young in the business, but mm -hmm. I have seen exactly what you've said in that little time that I've been here. I've seen mm -hmm. exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So tell me what are some of the steps that you took so far in, um, in overcoming mm -hmm. these very, very big obstacles? Yeah. <laughs> well, what I've had to do is, um, personally, I've had to, um, follow the call and draw from my own financial resources. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, in order to go to studio um, and and bring the music out. Yes. Um, well, into, into that recorded form. But after bringing it out into the recorded form, there's the other issues of marketing, marketing promotion, promotion mm -hmm. and um, sale. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. exposure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so. Um, but how how come these um there there are Christian circles in this mm -hmm. country yeah, yeah. who are um 
who have you know a certain network and a certain they've, support yeah, what what, what are the issues some, they've been making some moves right in, oh. in, in a positive direction so what are the issues with us mm -hmm. right so um those circles that you're talking about have been turning for a couple decades at least mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so uh there are certain things that that um that they have been been doing like um coming together right whether it's uh, producers promoters so that there's different people with different roles coming together helping each other radio station right mm -hmm. uh, for some years there has been um, there has been um, discussion uh, about a, a, a radio station uh, Catholic wise, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure at, at what point it, it is at, at this point in time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So there are different things that would have to mesh together and work together mm -hmm. to make the job a little easier. Mm -hmm. But one thing, programs like this, um, I believe is a, a step a in step the right, forward, in yes. step, mm -hmm. step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And also in terms of if there are people out there uh, who, who have, um, connections, whether it's media, social media, marketing, promotion, events management, project management, yeah, but all how, of these different how things. How do we connect to these people? Where? So, you know, how, right. You so, share some of your personal um, strategies for connecting with Well, them. so far it's been, it's been one by one, you know, mm -hmm. it's been person by person. It's by using, using the, the, the platforms that I have had so, so far, like mm -hmm. um, the charismatic conference and yes. and and you 2000 and, and and other things that I've been a part of to meet people who have similar goals mm -hmm. um, um, youth expo or you know um, the different platforms that 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 people can meet and we need uh, we also need some more of those platforms mm -hmm. that are um, specifically um, artists Oriented. Em oriented, empowered, right, uh, right. for us to get those platforms. Yes. You know, and but you know, those one of the things that, you f that I want you to comment on mm -hmm. is that, you know, um, we have a lot of talent in the Catholic Church, but they yes. choose... Especially young talent I'm seeing coming talent. up now, yes. But they usually choose to take their talent elsewhere. <laughs> like you know, on the Soka mm -hmm. Monarch stage, mm -hmm, <laughs> or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> these kinds of places, and we mm -hmm. end up Right. Um, not giving these people a channel mm -hmm. to um, fulfill their purpose and their talent within the church mm -hmm. and express mm -hmm. their talent within the church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, I, I came across a, a band uh, like a, a couple of years ago and I asked yeah. them, you know, you all looking to, be, to become a, um, a, a, a Catholic band, you know? They're like, um, mm. well, you know, we're thinking about it and there's a, a band that was born out of a school, of a Catholic school. Right. But they like, you know, they, that, that, I don't know if that making sense because at the end of the day, what you want to do is make a living from your, yeah. <laughs> from your passion. And they were excellent. Yeah. It, yeah. They had, you know, they had everything going, the vocals, mm -hmm. the music together, everything yeah. was excellent. And yes. they, you could see that they were like, hmm, it doesn't make sense. It, when yeah. you come across youths like that, what would you tell them? Because, you, I mean, I doubt you really, your focus is mission when you're on the Soka Monarch stage, you know. Okay. Do we need a Soka Monarch? A Catholic Soka Monarch? Hmm. You, you <laughs> wow. Lots of good questions, eh? <laughs> right? So, let me just um, answer the questions like this. So, for mm -hmm. the young people that the young people that are watching this program and that have received a call, right? Because I received a call That's and... Right. There are other people involved in music ministry in the church who have received that call. And because of that call, we have not gone in the direction, in the other directions mm -hmm. that may have been more financially lucrative because of the call that we made. Not saying that other people um, within the church who do music in the secular space, not saying that they have not received the call from God, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Um, 
we express our calls differently. Differently. Right? Ways, yeah. yeah. Right? But if you have received that call, and especially as a young person, um, you can connect with people like us. Mm -hmm. You can ask questions. Yes. You can uh, you can speak to someone who you look up to who is involved in music ministry mm -hmm. and we can forge a way forward and especially now where there are things like social media uh, you can um, you can use that to your advantage yes right you can get together right so by mm -hmm. there, there there are people who um, are venturing into Catholics, right? Who are um, who are producers who know about media, who know, you know who, who know about different things, who who can help. That's so right. um, with, with with platforms like this, and if we can get together phone numbers, if we can uh, ask questions of our parishes, and mm -hmm. then. Um, we, we will have, we yeah. will collaborate yeah. and, and that's my That is actually so, one of my dreams. Of, uh, and I, I think I told you that yes. sometime before yes. that yes. we have a, a Catholic artist network and we would, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> we would do all the marketing and we would pool our resources and our mm -hmm. talents and we'll get managers and we'll get yeah. lawyers and we'll get, you know, all these big dreams. And it was really nice to have somebody who understood yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, understood what I was talking about, yeah. understood that dream and, and all for it. You know, um, I wanted to ask you something. Mm. So you know, with music, sometimes there's a, there's a fine line between self-aggrandizement mm -hmm. and worshiping God mm -hmm. and keeping the focus there. Mm -hmm. So how do you balance it to know that okay, this feeling of exhilaration that I have on the stage is all about worshiping God, mm -hmm. and it's not about me feeling um, good about myself and, and, mm -hmm. and hyped up and I'm the best thing since sliced bread, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So how do you create that balance? Well, uh, um, as, as a worship leader, I think if you start, if, if you start with the worship side of, the worship side of music, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and you have a true worship experience that's born out of prayer, right? Mm -hmm. So. Worship is prayer. Mm -hmm. There's no worship without, without. prayer, mm -hmm. That's right? Mm -hmm. There's right. There's no worship without meditation, right? So once you get in, into there first, then it's just a straight path towards getting rid of self. Mm -hmm. Because to worship, you have to. Um, what 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 John the Baptist said? I will decrease. And, and he, he will, will increase, increase. is just a natural thing. Well, that is an you know, excellent so, thing to, yeah. to, to end off with, Bevan. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that the young people out there are listening to you mm -hmm. and willing to connect. Bevan is on Facebook. You could search him on Facebook. Right, so are you on be Instagram? victorious, right? So that's that's the name. Right. Yeah, that, that's, that's new, the name. Oh, you have anything coming out for Carnival? Uh, I, have, um, I have two tracks that I would have re um, recorded at the the end of 2019 mm -hmm. so you will see something um you will see something coming up so. something you're not sure yeah. what but something <laughs> oh, something i have to keep it what's your social yeah. media um anything on instagram right so uh <laughs> i will give you my card <laughs> right. use all of these handles nice. yes <laughs> i can't remember all of the handles but so you can search bevan gibson, bevan gibson <laughs> be victorious right yes and uh, you'll you'll find something all right thanks so much yeah. Bevan. a pleasure having you here today all right <laughs> invite me back of course <laughs> <laughs> a bold face eh? yes 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 <laughs>
down a person's worth, spirit, and freedom. Uhuru. Welcome back to Lit Guys. Today I also have, as promised, somebody who is going to help us understand a little bit about the entertainment industry. He has a lot of knowledge, so I'm going to basically stay quiet for this interview and let him talk because, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because there's nothing that I could really tell this guy that he doesn't already know. So I'll just, I'll just um, cue him in. Damien Sogrant. Here you are. Hello, <laughs> you everybody. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having I me. I really want you to, to um, tell me about, I know you have a lot of things ongoing, but tell me um, in a nutshell, everything that you, your experience um, in the entertainment industry and uh, what you do right now. Well, you're right. I do have a lot going on. So <laughs> in a nutshell, well, I'm a, I'm a bit of a nut myself. So that shell has to be huge, all right? So uh, yeah, I am involved in the entertainment industry in different aspects of it. Um, I'm also involved in the media industry. And of course, I do PR and media relations as well. So right. I'm a consultant mm -hmm. in that respect. Mm -hmm. I actually perform as an MC on stage, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I've hosting never heard different it events. Said quite like that. I perform as an MC. Well, yeah. yeah I'm not just saying a stand up talking to my gum. Ladies and gentlemen, can you um, please um, move your car? You're blocking the gate. No. I, I like to have it as more of a performance, to oh, be honest. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, and I consider myself an all round entertainer. Right. But um, yeah, I'm involved in acting, stuff like that as well, too. Mm -hmm. And somewhat in the music industry as well. Mm -hmm. And I host television. You host television. Yeah, much like you. Really? I'm following in your footsteps. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so, often on that, on that side of things. He won't ask any questions, not being asked to talk about himself. So it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> yeah. No, don't feel weird. Feel normal about it because I really want to 
ask you about something that um, I just heard I was eavesdropping on your conversation with Bevon a, a while ago oh, <laughs> during wow. the break <laughs> <laughs> and you spoke about hosting a show together how many other years ago with Father Stan. Is that one of those things that propelled you into the industry or did you have like a natural inclination to it um, before and then you, you got some kind of divine inspiration that you need to go in this direction. How did you decide to go in this direction? Divine inspiration is pretty good, I guess, you know. <laughs> you know, divine inspiration plants everything. But, you know, um, as I like to say, you know, the bug bit me back when I was pretty young, you know. Really young, like a child, so like mm. two, three years ago. Um, <laughs> I actually attended a, a Providence Girls Secondary School production of Peter Pan. When I was a little child, my mother dragged me to this thing, and I, you know, at first I didn't want to go, but then it really hit me. Wow, this that is amazing. amazing. Oh, and the yeah. feeling that I got that night, it literally, you know, transported me from where I was thinking about homework and all that. And, right. you know, it transported me into this whole new world, and it gave me that feeling of just release. And I, from that day, wanted to project that feeling onto others. So you had somewhat yeah. of an, an encounter with the arts. Yes, I <laughs> did have an encounter with the arts, <laughs> you know. And then you, I mean, making a career out of it, having an interest and making a career are two very different things. Um, and it was a long journey and it still is an ongoing journey. Well, I yeah. want to tell I want to ask a little bit about that journey because a lot of us um, creatives, mm -hmm. right, don't always understand how to, how to make that step or jump that ditch or whatever it is that in front of you. Break that glass ceiling. <laughs> to yeah. break the ceiling or, or, or whatever the case is, build your own bridge um, to make it from, uh, yeah, I like this. I like doing this, is my passion or whatever, I just feel good when I'm doing it, as opposed to, hey, I need to do A, B, C, D, and chill out a living, take these steps, get this done, make these connections, whatever the case is. How did you make that, um, how did you bridge that gap? Well, first of all, um, you have to know for yourself that this is something that you want. And when I say it's something that you want, not what you may see out there on television or you know, see the successes of it, know the reality of it and all the hardships and see what other people go through, the reality, the business side of it, mm -hmm. how painful it may be at some right. point in time mm -hmm. and accept the fact that this comes along with the territory and know that this is something you definitely want to pursue. And when you do make that choice, go really hard with it. Find whatever you need to do, get yourself, you know, the proper training and the proper insight about the industry. Yeah. You know, don't go in there blind and uh, as we say, with the wool over your eyes and bright eyed and bushy tail. Get mm. a very realistic sense of what this industry is and know that you know it's not all rosy. There are successes, but there are a lot of failures and sometimes it takes a lot of failures to achieve a little success. A little success. Wow. And you know, that will help you in your persistence because um, when you want to take something seriously, that's the only way you would take it seriously, knowing the reality of it. Right. Knowing that, hey, this is not uh, a fantasy. It's a dream, but it's not a fantasy. Right, yeah. right. It's a dream, but not a fantasy. Mm -hmm. I, I, I get that. I get that. Because um, at the end of the day, um, having a vision about something, it doesn't stop there. You have to actually get the steps, find, you know, find mm -hmm. a way to pick up yourself after the difficult times. And speaking about difficult times, I, I want you to give me a little example of some of the some of the more difficult things that you would have had to overcome in order to to be able to do what you're doing now. Oh, well, <laughs> do we have enough time? How much time do we have? <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> All right, um, you know, of course, you know, there are challenges in, in, in every step of the journey here. Of course, from being able to get minor opportunities to get into this, this, this crazy industry. You know, trying to find which is the right direction for you to go because what might work for somebody else, it's not a cookie cutter thing, it might work for you. Right. So finding your niche and how to really build on success as yourself and not try to piggyback the success of others or try, fight, try and follow the roadmap that others might have paved. Right. Yeah, right. That, that is one challenge, right? You have to find what is going to work for you. Yes, of yes. course, like in every other industry, there are, um, you know, a lot of challenging people. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, there are people who would I think necessarily. That's just, that's just life, you know. That's life, yeah. <laughs> but apparently, apparently, so I've heard. I'm not yeah. saying that this is my opinion, you know. I just heard mm -hmm. that in 
the creative industries in particular. Oh yeah, I yeah, mean I'm it's so magnified <laughs> like a thousand times, right? Because everybody a is of, a prima donna, you know? A lot of crazy personalities, but you know, at the end of the day, a lot of good people too. Exactly. There are people who would support you on your journey, people who would get together. I heard you mention collaboration earlier yeah, yeah. and networking. Yeah. There are people that who believe in that, but there are some people who are every man for himself. Oh, that's Every man or woman though. for themselves, yeah. I mean, but we shouldn't be like that mm -hmm. in our circles. Yeah. You know, I think that I, that, that is what I want to, one of the things I want to get across in this show, in this yeah. forum, that, you know, we shouldn't be, everybody is an island. There's these connections that we make here, being able to um, to be seen and to let people know, okay, you want some info, you want some guidance, you know, reach out to me. Just something as simple as that we don't have. I could tell you that we don't have it, really. You're right. You know, and um, and it's, it's sad. It's we, sad. It's we sad. might be from an island, but we are not islands, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We I should, mean, you yeah. know, collaborate and connect and everything <laughs> like yeah, that. And yeah. um, as I said, you know, you have to really rise above the negatives. I've endured yeah. some really, really serious negatives in wow. this industry. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even as small as people literally you know, demeaning your talent and your ability to do what you want to do. So I literally had to rise above it. So yeah, yeah. that's something you have to kind of develop. Uh, you know, they call it thick skin, they call it will. Yes, yes. But, you know. I, I, I know a word for you, I can't remember, but that both ability, proof. you're both <laughs> I love that one. I was going to use the boring one of um, you're, you're a good rebounder, you know, that, that, that's elast good too, yeah. that elasticity that, you know, when you're stretched, you wouldn't snap, you will just, you know, come back into place. Hopefully, you know, not everybody does, but. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's really something that um, I understand that your what is your your I already forgot it. Sobion. So I have a, a, a consultancy Sobion? called Sonic Solutions, Sonic. right? And and the reason I, I kind of got Sobion into again. that. So, Sonic Solutions. Yeah, big up to all the Sobians logged on. You know. <laughs> hush, hush, hush. <laughs> Much Forget love and respect to you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. So because I'm involved, I got involved as you know somebody who's in front of the scenes and in entertainment, mm -hmm. I, um, through necessity and through seeing that there was a need for this, I, I had to learn certain aspects of the business side of the industry, mm -hmm. both entertainment and media. So I started a, a entertainment and media consultancy some years back called Sonic Solutions, right? right? Providing PR services and other event and entertainment services, basically to help my friends in the industry and myself. And of yes. course, you know, you know, I came back from university to Trinidad and Tobago and, you know, as we say in our local parlance, I, I caught my royal nenen to get a job. Right, yeah, So, yeah. you know, I had to Believe basically me. build a job around myself. Believe you know? me, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so I created, uh, you know, my own, I had to hire myself. Wow. So that... Now the fact that, I, I'm saying wow, because the fact that you were able to do it, that you had the drive and the determination to do it, that's something that's difficult. I could tell you that for a fact, that it's it's hard. Sometimes you, you, you turn, you look for support or whatever, and you... You, you don't always get it. And when you get a few no's, it kind of has something, it does something to you. But the fact that you could still go on <laughs> to, to continue to form your network and, as I said, hire yourself, you know, it's amazing. What, you, what, what can you tell somebody who may be in that exact position and uh, don't know how to begin to hire themselves, as you say? Well, let me think about it for a second. Um, <laughs> do I even know the answer to this? Um, to be honest, the reality is when you're thrown into a desert, you will find a way to build a boat. And if there's no way to sail the boat, you will find a way to dig a, a moat from the sea and bring it to the desert. Yes. So when put in that hard situation with all those adversities, depending on you know just your will to make it happen, mm -hmm. you'll find a way. And I mean, that might not be like a, a road map to, yeah. to success or anything like that, but it, it is hard. It is a hard journey. Yeah. And I, I, as I said, did it out of necessity, but mm -hmm. through the grace of God, I made it happen. And I'm able to say that I'm still doing it up to today. It's still not easy. <laughs> it's still not easy. There's still plenty of challenges. I mean, when you're in this industry, easy means that you're, you're, you're riding an easy wave. And that, with that comes complacency. And oh, that comes, right. you know, comfort. Right. right, and you don't ever want to be that in this industry, right? Oh, you know, I mean, okay. look at it. You see so many artists who sell a platinum album. They're like, "Yeah, all right, I'm good." <laughs> you know, here <laughs> today, gone today. 
today. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I mean, they they, yeah, they yeah, get yeah. so they rest on their laurels with their success, yeah, and yeah. that's what you want. To, you don't want to do in this industry. You want to always keep on pushing the envelope, reinventing yourself. So in your mind, there's ways. no there's no statement like you know I've arrived. You know, I reach where I'm going. There's nothing like that. You always keep pushing. I mean, there's always an end game that you want to achieve, but um, mm -hmm. for me. It's always kind of on the go. Of course, I would love to rest more, but as I said, the challenges will always come, so you need to prepare yourself for challenging times and constantly finding ways to keep creating. Give me, way, some of, yeah. give me some of the things that give you that inspiration, that keep you going, because I mean, yes, we spoke about the challenges, mm -hmm. but there must be that experience, that, that um, the same Peter Pan experience <laughs> that you had um, as a child. You would have had several moments like that throughout the years in yeah. order to keep you going. Otherwise, you would have said, oh gosh, this is just uh, too much madness or whatever. Too many mad people and too much madness. <laughs> 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 Let me go and do something else. Let me go and find a, a nice, you know, safe government work or whatever. A government work, <laughs> a yeah. government work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you didn't do that. So that means that throughout the time that you've been in uh, uh, self um that you've hired yourself, yes. <laughs> um, you would have had more encounters and more experiences. What keeps those things, what keeps that going? What keeps that drive and determination um, bubbling inside of you to continue and to keep smiling as you, because since you come here, you're, you're smiling. You're making me smile, you know? Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> I try to be, you know. <laughs> so what keeps right. me going? Um, yeah, what I did keeps start off you saying going? Uh, that I am a nut, so that helps. Okay, that, <laughs> might, that might help, yeah. But, Especially um, the creative industries. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, so I mean, that, 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 that being a nut would, um, of course, deter me from being again you know, a safe government work, you know. True. <laughs> or, or, or would it? Good point. <laughs> but um, we have a lot uh, of them in there too. You know? They so, have been good moments. They... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh -oh. Don't, don't, um, you know. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't get vexed. Don't take offense. You know. <laughs> the next time you go to renew your passport. Oh no! <laughs> I actually have an appointment Friday. <laughs> oh no! No, but you're right. Ex everybody except the people in the passport office. Oh you know? wow! Yeah, they have some nuts everywhere else except yeah. there. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you made a good point. There have been a lot of good, you know, highlights along the way. Um, yeah, there have been challenges, but as I said, at that Peter Pan moment, I've been able to pass that on to other people. I've been able to inspire people who've seen me in performances, whether it be a production, a play, whether it be my television work that I do, getting to highlight artists, getting to highlight Caribbean culture, you know, even, you know, hosting a wedding, emceeing a wedding, making a couple's special day that more special. All those things bring joy to my heart, and those are the things that keep me going. And That's people truly inspiring. literally, you know, feel good because of something I created. Yes. That is, you know, that that's everything. You know what? It, I feel um, like a sense of sadness and happiness when I say that. Because I'm happy that you have achieved that. But in all the people that I've come across, a lot of creatives that I've come across so far, they've lost that hope of being able to do that. And, um, you know, I know that you, you would have migrated in order to achieve some of the things that you would have achieved yeah and um still keeping it local though you're still keeping it local yeah. the content is local yeah but that unfortunately that's the story of a lot of um our creatives right you know you want to make it you have to be a head ahead league go to lion king walt disney whatever they love they love trinidadians but apparently trinidad don't love trinidadians <laughs> kind of thing and don't recognize the level of talent yeah you know so um somebody who may want to somebody who may want to um to enter your industry on the local scene what would you tell them well i would say i mean yes it's true sometimes you need to plant your seeds in in, in foreign soil in order to you know reap a bounty as opposed to in your own backyard mm -hmm. i mean that goes without saying but of course i would say to anybody de redefine define and constantly redefine your definition of making it Nice. Success is different. Success is different. You could be a model on catwalks here, you know, for radical designs. <laughs> or you could be a model on the stage of, you know, Paris or Italy. Both success and both are making it. Compared to somebody sitting on a couch doing nothing. So redefinition. Yes. Nice. Thank you very much, Damien, for having for coming here today. I really enjoyed this conversation. I lost track of time. So but <laughs> I thank you very much for coming <laughs> and sharing a little bit of yourself with us. Thank you for having me. Yes. My pleasure. <laughs> so our number our second music video um, is by Solman. It's called Lesson of the Forest. I wanna say that 
Um, in terms of messaging for music, I mean, the, the, the boy is, the guy is, you know, is talented. He's skilled because I want you to listen to what the words of this song is really saying and how he got his message across. I mean, you're all really going to enjoy this one. I sat beneath this canopy, observing all the forest in harmony. So much life was all I could see. So many animals and so much trees. And it occurred to me, so many mouths to feed. Cause every being needs food to eat. They never plant, never toil, never sow, never reap. But they never go hungry. How can this be? What does the forest have to do? While humanity, see how we sweat and we toil in the field. See how we battle with the pest and the weed. And then we suffer with pollution and disease. Tell me please, how can this be? While the forest in balance and harmony, how can this be? Oh, what does she have to teach? And then the forest began to speak. This is the lesson she taught to me, she said. Only she knows how to achieve true food security. The forest lives by these principles to maintain the balance, she said. All these things are so critical for you to understand. She talked about biodiversity, the millions of different living species, plant, animal, fungal, bacteria. Together now they play their part Cause every life has a job to complete And every being is needed to keep the stability In an ecosystem that provides all the food we need She said, some help to build soil fertility Some help to pollinate the plants and the trees Some help to protect from pests and disease Some give us food to eat so many living different organisms The web of life just so intricate Stability and support that this brings For every living thing They're all connected She said they're all connected They work together every living thing Diversity but the balance they bring See the connections She said to see the connections Diversity and abundance, abundance of food production. Every being has a part to play, she said. The trees feed on the nutrients, deep in the soil like nitrogen. Grow leaves, grow shoots, and the flowers bloom, giving nectar to the insects. Feed from the flowers and they pollinate. The flowers turn to the fruits that the animals take They eat, digest and they defecate But nothing goes to waste She said, all the waste on the forest floor Feed bacteria and fungal spots As they grow and they feed, nutrients are released Which are the food for the tree See the cycles She said to see the cycles Every being has a part to play no pollution, nothing goes to waste. With balance and diversity, ecosystem stability, abundance of species of food to eat, that is food security, she said. True food security. Welcome back to Lit Guys. Now I think I, this is a good time to do my plug-in. You all saw my little t-shirt, you know. You know what to do, right? But let's go to the first music video on our countdown, the number one music video on our countdown. It's by Rembunction and uh, the All Stars. It's called We Are.
So bright, dedicated to everything that's right. Keep unity and equality in large trinity. We it's one heart, one soul, so great, so good. And we build in stronger, growing together. We climbing higher and we reaching further. It's one heart, one soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This land is my land and my legacy. Our mothers fought vehemently, united so that we stand independently. Celebrating our nation's first half century. With a culture so inherently in all our we. I love the way we walk and talk with rhythm and such melody. I salute my country, my Trinidad. So right, dedicated to everything that's right. Keep unity and equality. Not Trinity. One heart, one soul. So brave, so bold. Building stronger, growing together, climbing higher, reaching further. We are one heart. Yeah, we are mass for a calypso, birthed it from a Go. The scarlet type is sinful fly. We are kings and queens and scholars. We are so fat in the night. We are food and mood and gas and food and such a breezy attitude. This longitude and latitude, I always show my gratitude. We are Trinidad and Tobago, at this island, you saw some love is so. We are Trinidad and Tobago, and let me tell you this island, so me love is so. We are silver, bronze, and a gold. Father Mercy, we go tell the old bull Love with me heart, love with me soul Chin beggar, let me tell the old world Little dude, little up, man 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 Achieving with real unity, believing and nurturing that philosophy. But oh, but oh, and though we're not free of controversy, I always need you close to me. I cherish all democracy and all history.
today is our lucky day. <laughs> we have an honorary music video. So we have a little extra something going on here by Father Pontifax called Invasion of the Light. Enjoy. Yeah, 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 Ready for the highest climb God starts writing in stride to pin horizon oh, lines yeah. Watching for the rise and shine Brighter by design yeah, Like yeah. the world on fire with the gleam in his eye yeah. I got a long list of living that I'm dreaming to try I True. put my steps in any order stepping evenly by yeah, I yeah. took a bite out of the sun to get my piece of the pie Real I tried tough. to do it on my own when we were recently dry I hold a shooting star right in the palm of my hand I'm huh. giving pieces to the masses for the people's advance Boom. Laughing in the face of death and evil's command I didn't know what but my maker, not the feet of a man You shook, froze, fear and what you lose Got illuminated rhythm to jumpstart their hearts Why do your soul just gotta do your part? Yeah, brilliant race for the world to see Hands and feet of his divine mercy oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shine your light when the darkness be And it is time for invasion, time for invasion Light coming and now the night running Got yeah. plans to advance, my stance to fight something for a chance And a dangerous dance that don't move yeah. Both hands hold the truth, so where are you? Is a yeah, give yeah. thanks to the power that breaks down the prison yeah. One chance and the dangerous dance to break through True. You True. gotta go with the line that takes you Big up. To harbor sailing in Weather for the champions of many still to fail to win yeah. Soul glow city with the love that burns bright Hold yeah. tight, you just look for the light Look yeah. for the light yeah. Brilliant race for the world to see Hands and feet of his divine mercy Shine your light when the darkness yeah. be And it is time for invasion Time for invasion We're coming in now, the night running Got plans to advance my stance To fight something one chance of the danger Well, guys, that's it for today's episode of Let's Inspire Together. I really hope that it was lit. Um, I myself feel inspired after those interviews. I know you, in, you enjoy the music videos, and uh, um, I encourage you to um, take some of the advice that our interviewees gave us today about, um, you know, when you get knocked down, bad things will happen, but. It's the way that you build yourself up after that really matters. Um, remember about um, redefining yourself in order to adjust to whatever difficulties that you may have in life. I mean, if you're not inspired after today, I don't know what to say again. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and please join me next time. Have a good one, guys. Both hands holding the truth, so where are you? Light living and now the night is a gift. Thanks to the power that breaks down. The prison's one chance and the day.